Hello everyone. Today we're going to take a look around, see what needs to be done, add to our to-do list, uh, get the project set up. Josh has got some projects ready to go, and you know we got to start getting this stuff done. It's nice and it's going to be nice and warm all week long. So stick with us, and we'll show you what we're going to do. Are you done yet? You around, you don't stop it. <laughs> All right, first off, I've noticed, now people say that there's cichlids everywhere, but I've noticed they've gone down a little. And what we have found out is, Brutus used to pop at the top of the water at the um, pellets, and he don't do it no more. The little guy does, but not big guy. So then he waits for the pellets to go all the way down, and as the cichlids come in and get them, he'll suck down a couple cichlids. So we gotta stop this behavior which means I'm gonna to have to slow down on the pellets and just put bigger chunks of food in there to get him wanting to come back and get the bigger chunks of food so that he lays off the, he's, he's offsetting the, <laughs> the balance here. You know, it's still, there's still a lot in there, but I just noticed that they, it's dwindled down a little bit. So we don't want him starting to think that's his food. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna change that for one, for sure. And then come on in here and look at this, ouch. We've got, I don't know, all kinds of noise. Oh, well, there she is. There's Skylar. She's working on cleaning TJ's cage. And TJ's up there dancing like normal. What happened to your finger? Uh, TJ got scared and flew into the water, so I freaked out. He went to go grab him, and he took the head out of me. Let me see. Wow. Now I can't get this back when, when you get When you get done with this and you're back inside... Come get me. I want to cover that, you know, clean it, and then cover it with a Band-Aid and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so come get me. Oh, I need help getting this in place. You got it out. You can get it back in. Figure it out. It's really simple. I know. It's fine. Okay. So anyways, next. Uh, Josh had put a puffer in here, and I still have not seen it. A fajaca, which to me... I told him it cannot go in here because they are mean. But Josh and his friends, they, they swear it can go in there. But I don't see him. I haven't seen him. I don't know if Josh took it back out. But I look every day, all, every time I'm out here, I look for the puffer. You know, because I want to catch him doing something where he has to come back out. But I don't see him. So we'll take that as a good sign. And then over here, this is all, everybody's doing good. People say, you know, some of these tanks are, are just too crowded. They don't understand, there's, there's a big difference in the front. If you look down from the top, there's lots of room. And then this side of the tank has no fish in it. They come to where you're at. That's under undercrowded there. And now this over here is crowded. They spread out, they go where they want. These guys swim side to side. Trust me people, they're not overcrowded. Don't worry about that. And uh, we've got some things to put away here. Still these pumps, the stand here, and, and this box of stuff here. That's on me. I'm, I usually do that during the daytime. But without the second nurse now, I've been having to stay inside and watch Tracy. Then coming by the pool here, I like this guy here. He never falls apart. He never gets knocked in the water. Nobody's knocked it over yet. He's doing real good there. I'd like to put a couple plants in like he's coming up out of the, the weeds. We have to worry about getting these plants back outside soon, but we're, I'm not going to jump the gun on that. But all these plants are all doing good. Even flowering. Look how tall this is. Oh my God. I'm walking under this right here. Wow. Spider plants are finally growing. But here's what I wanted to do take you out here because we still haven't figured out what we're putting in this tank but we've got plants growing all through here all the reeds are growing we have to come down here somehow that got pushed out that's got to be pushed back up under and look at the koi this is definitely running nice and quick again the plants are starting to grow over there. 
Uh, we have to go out there. That's all fiber floss from that temporary filter we put in. We have to throw that all the way. Oh, here they are. Looking for food. But you come back over here. We've got, like, this tree fell over so many times it broke a branch off. So instead of throwing that away, I'll just put it in, in by the rivers or... There we go. Now, if you guys can see over there, look back there. That pond is staying nice and full. And it's doing good. All them koi lived all winter long, and they're over there. It is just a mud pit because they're eating pieces of, of the, the bottom clay uh, pond. That's what the lady was complaining about, that her ground was like here, and then they ate under it and went way back here to where now the ground was flimsy and, and it sink down into the pond. They were just eating so much of it away. They're doing the same thing here, making it nice and bigger. I like it. But, you know, that's how uh, koi in the wild get really big. They're in natural, you know, ponds, and they eat the muck at the bottom and on the sides. So let them keep eating. They're doing good. We didn't lose one over, over winter. I like it. Um, let me see what we got here. We still got to get this whole trees that fell down from the neighbor's yard out of here. Um, yeah. But it looks like it's uh, everything's going to start growing back pretty good. You got greenage, you know, coming up on all, all little areas, little spots here and there. You can even see the little arrowheads coming up there. So, I mean, it's all starting to grow. And that's what, all we're going to plant this year. Oh, on none of the, uh, what do you call them? The leaves that come up and float on the top. You guys know. I, I, I'm, I'm pulling brain fart. I can't remember the name. But uh, all of them will start growing real soon and hit the top of the water and cover all them. That's all we're going to buy this year is plants that, that are already proven to come back. We'll just buy more of the same. Because we, we got a bunch of different plants last year, and 90% of them didn't make it. So, on to the next. We want to get this. We don't have room for it inside, but I'm going to get TJ into this thing. Or leave it as a summer place form for outdoors. You know, that's just a bottom tray. And it's garbage. And then, actually, it's really garbage. It's, well, it's metal, but it's got stuff flaking up. It's got a, a thing that pulls out in the center to make it one big cage or two separate cages with a breeder box opening right there. So, you know, two big doors. It was my caw cage. I like that stand, that tank. And, you know, this is how tall it is. You know, I'm, I'm 6'1", and it's, it's about as tall as me. So that's definitely a six-foot cage, and it's, I'd say, five and a half foot wide. It's big. And then, geez, that's, that's three foot, 36 inches thick. So that's a huge cage. And this is working out great. We're getting ready for our summer. We got buffet style seating there for all the food. Oh, excuse me. I ain't getting much sleep anymore, so I, I do that a lot. And I'm in the fog a lot more. So see all this. We got to clean up all this area right there. And you know, when winter hit, we just left it go. Oh, okay, come on back in here. And it's nice and warm outside. I like this. Josh's bass tank. We still haven't got this that guy, the Azul. We still haven't gotten him out. Frontosas actually look hidden during the daytime. Look at the goldfish. Look at this guy. Everyone thinks his tail's tore up, but it's actually not. See how it's clear? Oh, the white only goes so far. Then it's clear the rest of the way. And it's not shredded at all. It's a beautiful finish. He's neat. That's something different. This guy's really nice, though. I like him. That's one of the shat coys. And then there's another one in here. This guy. Another one of the shat coys. I know you guys are getting jealous. Hey, buddy. Doo -doo 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 -doo. But we got to keep all the butterfly shat coys. We grew them up. Look, even the flowers and the plants in here are flowering. I can't wait to see what this Monstero will start growing like once we get in. You know, out on the back deck or something. All right, let's go look inside here. Well, actually, let me turn on this light. They're all on remote control. Come on. There we go. 
This is a tank I don't get to look at much, so I like showing it off to you guys. It's really neat. Oh my goodness, look how big he's gotten. Oh, and that Armadus is huge too. Wow, these fish are growing over here. Look at that. Looks like somebody bit on his tail and it grew back. Josh didn't tell me about that. And there's Lone Star. A chunky little monkey. There's my geophagus. Is that a bite on his fins? <gasps> his finnage is bit off. The trailer's on his fin. What did Josh put in here? He put, oh, the Dorado. He just put the Dorado in here. I'm moving my geophagus. He can't be nipped up like that. I told Josh that was a bad idea when he said it. He's like, no, I'm confident. Oh, there's a little fly river turtle trying to hide. Fly goes everywhere, everywhere you like. All right. Oh, it's definitely warmer in here. Someone had said they didn't like this. I love that. Look at that piece of wood. And the, the way the eels come in and out of it, I love that. That looks awesome. I don't see how anybody couldn't like that. I want to get more of that kind of wood. What's up, Tesla? How's up, buddy? Oh, I haven't seen the ab in a while. Oh, yeah, you're getting bigger for sure. He hides his face and thinks no one can see him. <laughs> That's so cute. How funny. How funny. How are you guys doing? Look at you guys. Love them white spots on you. So dark black and then the white spots. Oh, yeah, you're getting big. Yeah, we still got a light out on this side. Because this ain't lit up as much as that side is. Right about there it stops. Oh, they're getting the tiles up. You're going to have to get inside and fix that. Hey, goofball. Oh, you want some attention too? Some meaty, they chunky. Some meaty boys. All right, now you want to see the real mess? And, I, and I'm surprised neighbors haven't called on me yet. Oh, geez, bright, bright as can be. Yeah, this is really bright out here. Okay. Now, everything on that trailer is garbage. We got to just take that to the dump. This stuff here, we got to organize. We use them tubs all the time, so we need them out here. But that can get put away. All this pond stuff can get put away. And then this van is here. It needs to be moved back out to the front. These are lids for tanks. I can't throw them away because so many people need lids. So I keep them for them to give away to other people. And then uh, we've got this tank here. And then we've got to take down this whole awning. Just get it out of here. And we're building a nice wood one there. So, yeah, there's lots of projects yet to do. Uh, and then before, oh, too long, I'd like to take the same fencing right here and put a piece in over to here that can open up. So you can have that as a drive through area there and close that. And then a piece on the driveway here that can open up and you can drive through here. So that this is one big wall from the garage all the way over to the fence. And people can just walk in the back. Because it seems like nobody goes to the front door no more. They just come in and walk into the back, and there's people walking around the fish room. So now I have to start locking things in the fish room in the back there. And then there's people walking in my backyard that they have to walk back up front. And there's also some koi that got put in here that we have to separate. There's a bunch of, see the big butterfly koi? 
that was Josh was here one day, and I I wasn't here, and the house was locked, and he couldn't get in, so uh, he he acclimated the koi to this front pond, and it's been you know snowing and all that, so I want to get them out of here. This is the first time I'm actually showing them, you know, that they're actually certain ones I want out, up front here, but uh, yeah, we're gonna have to drain this down, and then all this here we're pressure washing everything everything in here. So we're going to set up a pool out here, pump the water up to the pool, put the fish in the pool, pressure wash all of this, and then pump that water out in a way, clean it all back up, put the water back in, and all these plants out here are starting to grow. So everything's going to be good. They're starting to come out the ground here and here. So, uh, yeah, we've got lots of things to do. But anyway, there's one. Uh, let me see. Two, three four, five, six, seven. There's seven koi here we want to put into the back pond for Tracy. And then uh, the rest, well, you know, we'll probably give it to Brian Barcheck or something. Because this is our, our summer drop-off for all the goldfish and stuff. So that's what we're doing here. Oh, and i got to get a little globe for on top of that to spin on that post I put in there. Um... Sheesh, what else? That's about it here. All this mulch has gotten worn away to where you can see the underlayment to stay keep the grass from growing through. So we're probably going to have to remulch all this this year. But, yeah, things are looking good. Appreciate you hanging out with me and going around about and seeing what we got to do and checking out the place. We'll get it in tip-top shape in no time. So, stay fishy, my friends.